opposition figure who lives in Ukraine, and he's joining us uh, from Prague tonight. Uh, Ilya, very good to have you on the program. Thank you so much for joining us. I want to start with just asking Thanks you why you think that uh, he was seen, Alexei Navalny was seen as such a threat to um, Vladimir Putin and to the Kremlin. First of all, he was uh, very bright. Then uh, I think it's already a redundant statement. He was courageous. Uh, he was just a very talented politician. Uh, and uh, Vladimir Putin hates charismatic people. He hates people uh, whom he cannot control, whom he cannot make deals with. And uh, for him, they are extremely dangerous. And that's not only about the uh, opposition people inside the country, that for international politicians as well. Mikhail Saakashvili, for example, president of Georgia, knows this too well, or Vladimir Zelensky. So uh, this such of people are intolerable uh, by the standards of yeah. Vladimir Putin. Ilya, you are now living in exile, but you know, looking at the opposition in Russia, what does Alexei Navalny's death mean for that opposition? No, uh, you know, Alexei, unfortunately, was kind of switched off the uh, active politics uh, since the uh, moment he was arrested. Uh, he was in uh, remote prison, uh, recently even more remote than previously. And it was his team uh, who was working from uh, Vilnius in uh, Lithuania. And obviously, they uh, were not as appealing as uh, Alexei himself. So I think that uh, uh, Kremlin's bets right now is that uh, the influence of this team would uh, 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 slowly decrease mm. and they would eliminate them as an imminent uh, uh, threat to them. But there are many people. Uh, and uh, my take is that uh, since uh, Fe February 2022, the biggest threat is coming not from the traditional uh, opposition who, who is calling people to rallies and making some investigative journalism. The real threat is coming from people who actually fight. This is from Legion Freedom of Russia, who is mm. at the front lines. That's for urban resistance movement, who is active across Russia. These are people who are actually fighting against uh, the regime, and that's new generation Russian opposition. That's really interesting, Ilya. What about for exiled opposition figures like yourself? I mean, I'm imagining that today is another reminder of why people like you cannot return to Russia. Oh, well, uh, I'm pretty certain I will return, and pretty soon. It uh, will just uh, happen on the tank. Uh, or armored vehicle, and uh, that's what we are doing. I am uh, almost all of my time in What do you in mean by Ukraine. that? Area? You would return to Russia on a tank? Can you explain exactly what you mean by that? I mean that we are fighting there, and we're already uh, uh, making raids inside the Russian territory in Belgorod region and in other regions which are adjacent uh, to Russia. Yeah, right now we need to do it with arms in our hands, but, uh, you know, it's going to change. Uh, uh, so I am pretty optimistic about that. I don't think that uh, a victim of Alexei Navalny, uh, it, it would not be wasted. His effort would not be wasted uh, uh, at all. What what we really need is, uh, and what I really hope for uh, this tragedy uh, would do, is uh, for the Western politicians to understand mm. that this war can end only in one way with the uh, removal of Mr. Putin from his office and destroying Putinism as okay. the modern day version of fascism. But I think that Ilya, right now I a lot you, of foreign politicians, you, they hope that I just want to ask you on that question itself, obviously Western leaders are not going to actively remove Vladimir Putin. So what response do you expect to see from them? No, I uh, think that right now they have certain illusion that uh, the war in Ukraine may end uh, with uh, Ukraine just liberating its territory and it would be over. But to me, it just means that the front line would be uh, placed uh, alongside the uh, Ukrainian former borders of 1991, but it still would be the front lines. So we need to cure the source of this illness. And Alexei Navalny understood this w very well. And uh, we need, uh, as one alliance, it's, it's the common deed for Ukrainians, for Poles, for Americans, for British, and for all others, it's uh, it's the common deed, and obviously by, for for Russians, because uh, okay. at the end of the day, we need to be in Moscow, we need to be the new authorities in Russia. It should be us who would remove Putin from office, but okay. we expect you guys to help us.
We have to leave it there. Ilya Ponomarev, thank you so much for joining us on BBC News. Thanks so much.